Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Who's ready to watch me paint? And I'll wait for a couple minutes till a couple of you come on. Good morning. Hi, Karen. Hi, Rihanna. Brady Lady. Karina. Sandy. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. Um, so this morning, I am going to paint anemones. Hi, Ellen. Ellen's the one that said, asked me if I was painting anemones, right? Wasn't that you, Ellen? Hi, Kate. Hi, Julie. Good morning. So um, last week, not this past weekend, I get my weeks all confused. First of all, did you guys love painting the hearts? Wasn't that like just so much fun? I love seeing them all week. Like it brightened my day when <laughs> I would go online and see other people making hearts. Um, my godson's girlfriend just did them yesterday and she posted them. It was just so much fun. I love that project. I have my coffee too, Anita. And Ellen asked me if I was so, um, two week, last weekend, or two weekends ago, I guess my family went skiing and since they were going to be away, I treated myself to flowers. I ordered them from Farm Girl Flowers. They're gorgeous and I had to have taken I think a thousand photos so I have so many anemones I just need to like treat myself to this once once a month and like my my options would be endless coffee ready okay let me move on here let me turn this around <clears throat> so, so I'm gonna paint I've been doing a few birds lately I sold a few of my paintings at the gallery the blue stone gallery in Philadelphia so I have to replace those so I've been painting some birds and other things. I did two fun roosters in the last few days that I haven't posted yet, but I'm excited to get back into painting anemones. You know, it kind of feels good to paint this. I always try, and it's because of social media, I always try to paint something different all the time so that my feed has variety. I mean, in an ideal world, I would paint a head and not <laughs> post the picture the day I painted it. Wouldn't it be fun if I'd get like two weeks out for myself? I should just not post for two weeks and try that because um, sometimes I paint because I want the variety on my feed, but really I feel like painting the same thing over and over again until I get really, really good at it, you know? Sometimes you just have to follow that muse and do it, so. So right now you're gonna be seeing a lot of an anemone painting until I um, move on to something else. So fun, all right. So I'm just gonna block in here. Um, all right, I feel like the radio is too loud. I always do. It's so quiet before I go online, and then I feel like it's loud. So I have a meeting today, so I didn't sleep a wink. I don't know why that is. If I have something the next day, I have so much trouble sleeping. So, of course, I was awake thinking about art stuff. Anybody else have that same problem? I'm just kind of dancing around putting some of these yellows in. Um, good morning, Henriette. How are you? Rosemary didn't sleep last night either. It's, it's, it's always a mixed blessing because I feel like I'm super productive, like, but I should be sleeping. So I'll be fine until, you know, I have to go to this meeting that's like two hours away and it's just going to be a busy day. And I'll be tired at the end of the day. Really, really tired. But, but I was like brainstorming ideas. Um, things I want to do. Because I did tell you guys that I'm, I'm in the plans, doing my lesson plan to make an online course. Which I'm super excited about. <clears throat> um, and with that all happening, like that's a lot of thinking and planning and things out of my comfort zone um, especially because I don't you know I'm a little camera shy um, <clears throat> but then I was thinking um, of course I'm thinking about I want to do a million things with it but you know you have to really narrow in and like if you if you have any ideas of things that you think I should include in an online course like things that you would love to know more about that maybe I don't cover when I'm painting in the mornings or things that I even that I do that you really enjoy like 
pieces of it just to give me ideas to make sure I'm kind of covering all my bases. Good morning, Maria. Lots of coffee. I've got mine. Hi, Lonnie. So any input. And then I was brainstorming in the middle of the night, you know, thinking in the middle of the night you can't do anything and you want to do everything. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to make like... um um, what is the, I, I'm in several of them, like the groups where you pay to be in the group. It's, um, a subscription thing. And I would love to like have it every week. I'd come out like with a different kind of like doing this, but more than that, like more, maybe visiting other people's studios, maybe learning drawing and watercolor. And I grew up doing art like my whole life. I like every kind of art like I grew up knitting and sewing and my grandmother taught me tatting which I don't even remember how to do that anymore I love to do watercolors I'm I used to love painting with with wash I do oh one of the really fun ones that um we used to do here at my house every year because my husband's family's Russian we would do the Pysanki eggs do you have a penciled guide or are you freehanding Oh, Ellen, no, I just, I'm freehanding. I just have my, let me get closer in here. I just have my grid. There's my grid. And I have the grid really lightly on there. You see that? Are you, you're, if I'm doing like a commissioned animal because I want them to be so, so, um, perfect because I'll worry about it the whole time I just did another dog the other day that was really fun I love painting animals <laughs> thanks Ellen and I'm getting ready I have my workshop um, here in Lancaster coming up so I just started you know focusing on that Ellen's coming to that one. And Anita. Is Anita on here? I think Anita's coming. Um, and I just posted. I didn't really announce it yet. Oh, thanks, Allie. I know that it's so fun painting their eyes. Oh, here. Brady Lady says, I'd love to see more RNF oil sticks. Okay. <clears throat> I definitely have that in my in my online course. Um what was I talking about? Oh, I have my, I'm going to do another workshop in New Hope in the end of May. So I just listed it on my website yesterday. I haven't really announced it yet. So if anybody wants to join me, it's up there. It's going to be fun. I need to post. It's at a beautiful farm. It's my, our college, Mike's college roommates farm in New Hope. It's gorgeous. And, um, I need to post some pictures of Mulberry Farm so people know what it looks like there. <clears throat> Anita, good. I can't wait to see you, Anita. And whites are a little hard because I'm like thinking now, what color do I want as kind of my base in these flowers? Um, the ones I've been doing lately, I'm trying to get them even more colorful than they really are, but still look like white flowers. That's been kind of my, ch my challenge. I like the pastels. <clears throat> I read two different things about, you know, I like to read about trends, like design trends and color trends, partly because of my job and partly because of this. And I read that two conflicting things. I read that pastels are going to be the next trend, and then I read that bright colors were, but either way, it sounds fun. Hi, honey. Where's the base to this music? I, it's in the cupboard back where the blender used to be. 
I got a, um, a smoothie machine. Isabel's making a smoothie for breakfast. I've always wanted one. And I'm sure it's one of those things that'll be fun in the beginning and then I'll get tired of getting it out and washing it and stuff, but hopefully not. It's a nice, easy breakfast <clears throat> and healthy. <clears throat> I worked a little bit more on my big one here next to me too over the weekend. Um... There. <clears throat> Did everybody enjoy the heart project? Did most of you guys do it? It's so fun. Yes, oh, smoothies. I love smoothies. Vitamix multiple times a week. Do you, Julie? I heard that's that's the fancy one, isn't it? <clears throat> do we get to go to Art Friends XO on Instagram to see the hearts? Yes. <clears throat> Rosemary. <coughs> so you do the hashtag symbol and then type in art friends XO one long word and you should be able to see them. There's other things in there too. Like, you know, people use hashtags um, for all different things. So it won't only be that. You'll, you're going to have to probably scroll through to find it, but um, to find them. Allie, yes. And Allie, I love your, your new, uh, window you did that's so much fun for St. Patty's Day love it she painted a, a window and where do you live in Queens where would you live? I forget your composition is so great oh thanks Lonnie yeah I should well I can't show you because it's on my phone and I'm using my phone to film but um oh my gosh I took a gazillion photos of this Little. Um, there's another florist that I love to follow too <clears throat> that's um, not too far from here but I never get to her place but I see that some of her flowers are going to be somewhere near me so I'm going to have to go look for that too so I like something different and at this time of the year you know nothing everything's boring there's no fun flowers to be had <clears throat> What else do we have to talk about? That's fun. Um, yeah, I've just been busy working on, on my art stuff. Um, like I said, my workshop's coming up in New Hope. <clears throat> and I'm thinking about doing one in Connecticut, too. So if anybody has an opinion about that, I... Um, was talking to a lady who has a space where I could have it and she would kind of host the whole thing and I'd just show up and and paint. It sounds heavenly, but I have to take off of work. It's always trick. Work gets in the way of all the fun. My tulips are pushing up so soon. Oh my gosh, are they really already, Anita? <clears throat> You're in Connecticut, Sandy. You would do that? I'll have to, I'll work on that. <clears throat> um, and Julie, we have to figure out that date for for me to come there too. I definitely want to do it. I'll figure something out. Um, <clears throat> shoot, now I forget what I was just talking about. Oh, yay, yay. I don't know how I forget things so quickly. It's truly amazing that I remember anything. I think that's part of my thing of not sleeping at night too is because I'm thinking of ideas of things I'd like to do and then I'm afraid that if I don't write it down, I'll forget. And then, bye Izzy, love you, have a good day. That's a good base. <clears throat> Do you water your paint down? I use... <clears throat> oh, okay, Julie thinks... So. I'll have to look that up. Um, this clear painting medium called Zest It. 
that's something else like with the online course I have to kind of figure out different art supplies than what I normally use because you know some of them are a little pricey and I don't want people to have to go and make a huge investment like if it's not something they are going to continue doing <clears throat> so I've been thinking about all that kind of stuff my mind's just going a million miles an hour <clears throat> This is beautiful now. Would make a great pillow, wouldn't it, Anita? Yep, I love this stage when it looks like cool sheets. Mm -hmm. This makes me want more of these flowers. Would make cool sheets. Yeah, I always thought I'd be that <clears throat> kind of mom. Like, I, when, when I was little, my mom would, like, change my sheets. Like, each season, like, well, two seasons, summer and winter. Like, I had different curtains and bedspread. And she made them all <clears throat> different in the summer than I had in the winter. Because winter had to, you know, be warmer in the windows to kind of block the cold air a little bit more. Summer would be breezy because it would be hot. I slept, I slept on the second floor. never get around to that kind of stuff. This color. That's the other thing I'm thinking about. What colors I want to use, suggest for my, my pick, paint, pigment sticks. For online course, I really struggle with knowing cool from warm. Yeah, me too, Ellen. I'm still learning that. So that'll be, that's definitely one of the focuses in my lesson plan to <clears throat> help make that clearer because cools and warms are, are really just relative to what's next to it, <clears throat> you know, because all blues and, and purples aren't cool and all reds and yellows aren't warm. There's, they're on the spectrum in either direction. So thank you. That's a good suggestion. Did my mom paint? Oh, my mom was very creative. No, I, you had another question. Oil or acrylic? This is oil. Rose. Um... My mom didn't paint, but she was super um, creative. Like, she was like a seamstress. <clears throat> she, I remember going to the local YW when I was a little girl because she took cake decorating classes. She always made me those Barbie cakes with the Barbie doll in the middle. <clears throat> so fun. And um, my mom passed away when I was in seventh grade <clears throat> so I didn't get to have her as long as I would have liked to but um I think I got some of my a lot of my creativity from her she would always be working on something and I'm I'm not so sure, sure she probably didn't paint I can't remember her painting but she might have um and my father was um a wallpaper hanger and a painter by trade and that's really a creative job also um he in had inherited that business from his father and um he was really amazing at it and when we moved into the house that that i'm in now he helped my husband <coughs> redo the whole house um because it was his friends our house is like from 1934 I think and we're only the second owners and the first owners were my parents very good friends and we bought the house from them because <clears throat> um after Anna Ruth had passed away <clears throat> Paul called one day he knew I always loved his house and <clears throat> he said do you want to come look at the house do you want to buy it and so I came down went through it said we'll take it and that was that oh I'm sorry RNF pigment sticks oh you have a great intuition about colors oh thank you yeah that's part of what I want to do to now so now I'm using this is a cadmium green pale pigment stick um that's another one of the things that I want to focus on too is following your intuition I think that's a big part of art a challenging part
So I someone interviewed me <clears throat> for a podcast the other week. I'll let you know when it comes out. But she asked me the question and said, do you ever, um, like, have trouble calling yourself an artist? And I know a lot of people <clears throat> talk about that, but I don't ever have trouble <clears throat> calling myself <clears throat> an artist because I don't remember not being one. <clears throat> I've been an artist all, all of my life. <clears throat> it was my favorite subject in school. It was my favorite thing to do when I was little. I would always do um, creative things, just anything. Like, I remember um, when I was little, I would love to um, take my dad's uh, old wallpaper books and I would make Barbie clothing out of them. They were stiff, but really cool. All right, I think I'm far enough. What do you think? And for 20 minutes, thank you. I would never think such color underneath. I know, well, I'm pushing that a little bit because um, it's just really fun to do it. Like, kind of add in some colors, unexpected colors, and then let them pop through. And I'll show you my big one here, too. This is my one that I was working on over the weekend. Yeah, that big an enemy. Can't even get back far enough. I'm literally sitting right next to it. Whoops. How fun is that? So I try to keep those little, but it's harder. I just, it's more challenging to keep that spontaneous, those colors through. Do you ever use a limit? I love all the colors, but sometimes have trouble. Yes. Yes, I need to try with a limited palette a little bit more. Um, that's what if I do like a membership thing, I think that those would be fun exercises to say, you know, this time paint this and do it with just three colors. And you know, isn't it? It's fun. It's scary painting big. Oh, so then I was going to say I treated myself. I bought some new brushes yesterday from Rosemary. No, oh, it's time to mix colors. And um, I think I ordered a big one. Like, I have this one big one that I use on my paintings. This is this big. I have this big one. And, like, that's kind of icky. It's huge. This is, these are the brushes I normally use. This and this. <clears throat> um, but I, it, I, just, I don't love it. It's just, it's not the same stiffness there's something about like when you make a brush stroke like having that comfort of like putting the stroke down and knowing it's going to stay like if a brush is too like wild on the ends or if it's too um like um too too soft or too hard oh my gosh I sound like the, um <laughs> the Goldilocks um it has to be just right you said the centers look like all eyeballs looking at you. Yeah. Is that an evergreen one? Oh, I think it is. Julie, you're so smart. Rose, yes, it's an evergreen short flat. I think I need to wash it a little more. Look how I, my hands are all yellow already, and I, I was all cleaned up to go away to a business meeting today. I think I'm going to need to clean up again. Um... Yeah, do you like them, Julie? Do you have one <clears throat> to suggest? Because you just finished that big, beautiful painting. <coughs> what did you... Um, making really dark, dark there. I got a little bit of indigo out today. And like you said about painting with a limited palette, I think that's a fabulous idea, but it's really hard for me because I'm more likely to paint with keep adding new colors love I love oil paint last night I was thinking about painting with um, acrylics like doing a large painting with acrylics because I had fun doing those um, hearts but I think I'd have trouble because it would dry so quickly I don't I don't know if I could do that or not because I just love the, the sexiness of oil paint, you know? I need a little bit more of this. I saw your beautiful painting. Yes, wasn't her painting gorgeous? 
How did you feel painting large? You don't paint large either a lot, do you? Some people are just not minimalist by now. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. I'm not a minimal minimalist in anything, I guess. Yeah. No, I'm not a minimalist. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Make it lighter. Um, I have to clean my brush off. Does anybody have any questions? I think I need a cup, sip of coffee. So I'm just trying to get some kind of neutral colors um, to use kind of for the background maybe. Um, Julie says, no, it was way outside of my comfort zone, but now I love, yes, I love large too. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. I need to work on more than one at a time now. I need a real studio. That's what I need. I need to make it a goal. Um, all right, I need green. I'm always, that sap green does not go far. I'm constantly out of sap green. Rose said brand. Oh, which brand of what? I missed what we were, or I forget what I was talking about maybe. This happens all the time. I need some dark greens. Uh, Mary Jo says, what color did you use for the table? The, you mean on the, on the painting? Oh, it just has... I think that color in the background up there is this manganese blue hue. I've been enjoying this color a lot lately. Oh, oil paint brand. I use all, all different brands. Winsor Newton's a good go-to. Um, basic color, I mean, paint to use, you know, if you're kind of just beginning. And I do love them. I've been trying to use um, Charvin paints because Jerry's kind of will sponsor me using them, but I don't know yet. I, it's hard to switch paints. It really is. I was trying out them, and I might give them another try, but... Um, I don't know. It's that minimalist thing, I guess. I can't just use one kind of oil paint. How crazy would that be? It would be easier for people ordering paints to just choose one, but that takes so much thought for me to to do that. Um, so I need some pale yellows, blues, and greens that are almost white, like my neutral whites that I love. So I'm going to take, so I think I'm going to do... <clears throat> This is uh, Michael Harding's Italian Green Number. Love that for neutrals. And this one that my lid keeps falling off of. I need a new one of these old Holland violet gray. Excuse me, is right here. And then this. Maybe I'll try the Charvin one, the Charvin Deep Shell. I'm going to put a little bit of that here. Oh, I didn't put any gold in there. I mean, my gold aren't a pigment stick. I think I'm going to do that when I go back up. I got that out. Ellen, yes, Vasari is amazing. The Vasari paints are just, just the best that, that I have used. They're just so creamy. Some of my other paints get kind of dried out. And I like when the paints are, um, that you don't have to like work to keep them fluid. Well, not even fluid, just, you know what I mean. The right consistency, whatever that is. I don't know what to call the right consistency. Jackie says, I use water soluble oils. Colors are limited. Yes, I, I've tried them. I did, my friend Beth, Bath um, did a workshop that I took and we did it with those and she just used she she's a plein air painter and paints just with um, water soluble and she only uses like three colors and her 
paintings are beautiful. Um, I think I'm gonna do a pale pink too. Of course I am. I don't know where that came from. Clean that up. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm not paying too much attention here to what you're looking at. I've had a couple of awful dry Charvin. Yeah. Yes, I have two. And and I, you can use um, um like like uh, liquid. But uh, I don't want to do that. Like I just using like using the base layer the way it is, and then okay, here we go. Judy says, "What transparent brown do you use?" The Rembrandt dries fast. Yeah, it does. And but that's I do use that Rembrandt one. Um, and it does. I find that all my colors on this side of my palette dry very quickly, and these stay wet for a long time. The darks dry quick, and the reds and yellows don't. Um, but that's kind of fine with me because then I just clean that area off more often because <laughs> they're all grouped together kind of. Ellen says, I kept clove oil cotton ball next. Oh, I should do that to the Rembrandt Brown. That's a great idea. I do have that down here. I just forget. I think that's what's right here. I think I have it right here. You think I remember to put that on there? I should. Maybe today I'll think about it. How long do you go between layers? That's it. Rose, I'm moving back in. I really don't wait at all. And I find even painting big, it's easier if I can work on it and keep it all wet. That's just what I guess what I'm used to. I like painting wet into wet. Um, when I do my large paintings and they kind of dry, I have trouble getting them back to the right consistency to dive back in again. Julie, did you find any anything like that that you like to uh it was hard it's hard I find it hard to dive back into big paintings. I also find it hard to remember what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Definitely looks like sheets. Viscosity is the word. <laughs> Thank you how the pigment is suspended. Thank you, that's exactly right. Oh, Anita, clove oil is supposed to keep your paints um, uh, uh, wet longer. So they say, viscosity, that is it. I like viscosity. And some of these this background area. <clears throat> Can you oil out? Yes, that's what I do. Oil out when it's dry. Yeah. And it does, I've been trying to play around like on my big one with doing transparent layers a little bit too. Although I've got a long way to go in mastering that, but I don't think we ever master any of this really. Um, do you add it to the paint? Oh, you just put it like on a cotton ball, Anita, Anita and um, just put it by your paints. Like I cover my paints up with an old Tupperware lid um, when I'm not painting. I started doing it mostly to keep the cats out. Um, Cause it's not going to have your cats running through your oil paints. Learn that lesson. <clears throat> and I'm sure you've seen, I've been promoting that um, Emily Jeffords class that I took last year. I'm kind of um, being an affiliate for her, but if anybody does want to sign up and take the class, um, do it through my link because then I'm going to have a group, whoever does it with me, um, kind of to support each other going through it because I'm doing it again. I learned so much from that class. Um, 
And I always, you know, you take a class and you think you'll go back and learn more later and it like things get in the way and there's too much to learn. So I'm ready to, to do it again. There's a lot of things I need to learn if I'm going to promote, you know, an online course and do all the things I'm excited about. It's a lot of fun things. It just overwhelms me sometimes. Do you use a grid on your big canvases? Yep, Jackie, I do the exact same thing. The same, like, four squares. Well, thank you. I cover mine, but they still drag you out. That, it'll help. It does help a little bit. Julie says, Mashefer, M-A-S-H-E-F-F-E-R, best to Google it. It's rubbing a mixture of stand oil and OMS on the painting to make it easier to apply paint on top. Huh. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take a screenshot of that. Thanks, Julie. I'll look at that later. <laughs> I'm sure you probably saw me doing. I had to take a screenshot, or I'll forget all about it. I do forget my stuff. I take photos, and then when I go back through my photos, I find things. But I always just trust that whatever thing I need to find will show up. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? A little crazy, keeping up with everything and passwords and <clears throat> and my my real job of marketing and advertising is very detail oriented too. It's hard to remember everything. Here, Emily, getting ready for her day. I think I would love working at home. I did work at home when I first had my business when my kids were little. The business was actually here in this same basement. I had my marketing business for several years until we didn't fit anymore. More because my family got big than that the business didn't fit. Bye, I love you. Love you. Have a good day. What time is it? 7.37. I have to pay attention here to the time. All right. What's everybody having coffee or tea this morning? Jackie says, FYI, you can hear music? I don't hear it at all. I think it went off, actually. I um I wish I could hear it. Oh, you know what you heard? Emily's music. Um, that's that's what you heard. My daughter Emily always has like her phone's always playing music. That's what it was, but she's gone now. She's on her way to work. Now I'm thinking about blocks of areas that are dark. You know, I always try coffee flavor with hazelnuts. Oh, that sounds lovely. I've been itching to go to a coffee shop and and sit and and think and plan. That's I, you know, I envision that, but it never happens. <laughs> it sure sounds fun, doesn't it? Just to sit in a coffee shop and watch the day go by. I really don't ever do that. All right. I'm fussing and not making um, decisive strokes, so I have to pay attention. Not enough hours in a day. No, I wish there were more hours in a day. Definitely wish. Okay. So I'm definitely... Um, dancing around here and not making progress so I'm putting out a little bit of this too I didn't put any of my video blue extra pale which is one of my faves good morning Emerson my neighbor Emerson is watching I loved what you made last week <clears throat> she painted hearts along with us We could do something like that again. What would be fun to paint for um, Easter? Oh, that's I started saying that too, that 
like my family, we used to all make Pisanki eggs and it was a big event. We would make all of the colors. Do you know what they are? They're like Russian um, eggs you paint. Like, I guess it's like batik, like you, you um, use hot wax and you melt the wax with the candle and then you draw like wax lines or whatever on the egg and then you dip it in a color and you pull it out, dry it off, and then you put the next wax on. So it's like in, in reverse of how we paint. Um, so much fun. Oh, everybody's saying hi to Emerson. Love the hearts. Yes, that was fun. So if you think, what could we do that would be fun for Easter? Um, hmm. I don't think about that. We could just do um, some kind of fun abstract um, in Easter colors. Easter colors are so fun. Oh, Judy, yes, the heart video is on my website under my... Um... Julie, did you do that too? I love making those. It's such a big project, though, to um, get everything ready to do it. But I, I'm itching to do it again. Um, Isabel didn't get to do as much as my other kids did. Um, it's on my website and on my YouTube channel, too, if you want to see the video. Isabel actually helped film that one, which was nice. I have to get her to do that more often. I always try to keep... I've heard that, like, shadows look more realistic if they're more transparent than other things. We could do little bunnies. That would be fun. Hmm. Pam says my granddaughter loved her heart card. Oh, I'm sure. That's so fun. Love hearts. All right. You know, I'm not staying on task here. All of a sudden, I'm going to look at the clock and it's going to be time to be finished. Let me get this talking too much and not painting enough. I don't want that hard edge there. So the shadow edges are soft. And I try not to put too much detail in either because that's when it gets... Um, I don't know what gets too tight, I guess is what I'm saying. Maybe doing eggs a la Jim Dine style. What's that? Old fashioned eggs. Yeah, how could we do that? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I have all the dyes and everything to do those eggs. Maybe we should do them this year. I could do a little lesson, but that's so, um, it takes a long time. Like, you have to spend the day. I'd have to do a workshop of that. That would be fun. That would be really fun. Because they, um, yeah, I mean, really, it's probably almost essential that you sit and have a glass of wine while you're painting them, too. That's part of it. <laughs> it's like, I feel like that's such a social thing. So is any kind of art, I guess. All right, I'm on task now. Do you feel like it's crooked? Mm, I don't know. I think it's okay. Okay. Holly Doodles. Abstract jelly beans. Oh, that's a fun idea, Holly. I like that. He was famous doing hearts like the ones you did with all kinds of colors and brush strokes. Oh, what's his name? I'll have to write that down. Jim Dine. Um, so, we could either do Easter hearts 
where we could do, oh, what did you just say? Abstract jelly beans, that would be fun. I'm writing it down, because I'll forget. Either one of those would be fun to do. All right. Uh, I don't know why I'm having trouble here moving forward. I think it's time for me to start working on the, the next, um, uh, level of color. I always try to block in these, um, I don't know what I'm saying. <clears throat> Jelly beans do sound fun, don't they? And Easter bunnies. Yes. I'm in for either one, so we'll see what, what works. Um, kind of looking for neutral, darker areas that aren't all the way dark, but that um, I need to pull out a little bit so when I go in with my light paints, they pop. Yesterday was National Wine Day. I didn't even get to have a glass of wine. I went to yoga instead. Which I'm glad. I'm glad I did. I look okay? I think so. Everyone could do a combo. Crosses are good. Tulips or daffodils are fun too. And Easter bunnies. Jelly beans and doing hearts. Okay, I read everything. Um, okay, I'm going to go in with some of my lighter colored, I think. I hear geese. I think the geese must think it's spring. I'm ready for spring. Forty-seven. I gotta get moving. Karen, daffodils would be fun too. I can't wait till I can go to market and get all those kinds of flowers too. Can't wait. Peonies. Oh, I cannot wait for peony season. So if I do my New Hope workshop in it's the last weekend in in May, will peonies be in season? Or will they be finished? I always forget. I go to market every week when, when I know it's soon going to be peony season so I don't miss any of it. I really need to grow some of my own in my backyard. Julie says, looking fabulous. I love the vibrancy and complicated flowers against the so serene background. Thank you. Yeah, they are kind of complicated and simple at the same time, aren't they? You know, this is the part where I have to think really hard. <clears throat> now I want to put in you know, my brush strokes and kind of leave them and not fuss with it. It's just really the hardest part is this little putting in the touches then not overworking the whole thing. <clears throat> Thanks, Holly.
So I'll say the part when I hold my breath. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, what Julie said, Judy said, what brush? I'm using the Monarch, Windsor Newton Monarch number 14 brush. And you said beautiful colors. <clears throat> I want to think and use colors like you. Yeah. When I watch you, I learn how to see, meaning I can follow what you're pulling from reference. Yes, good. I love that. It really is seeing and looking at things. And everyone will see things differently, and that's what makes art so fun. But I think it's pausing to really, like, look at something and think about it beyond what you think you see and seeing what beyond that, because there's always so much in there. I want to push that back a little bit. <clears throat> And then when I get some of those colors, and now I see areas that I haven't done yet, but it's kind of a, a dance. It's sort of a push and a pull of pulling some things forward, pushing some things back. How much time do I have? 53. I'm, I'm right here. A little bit of the texture of the little part there. If you had told me that a couple years ago that I'd be able to go online and paint something like this and watch the clock and finish it in time, I would have thought, no, I'd never be able to do that. Now, I like some of the fun like colors popping through. I tend to cover them up. I'll go in there and cover up, you know, even if I have whites showing through of my base panel, I like to leave that. I'm, really, I'm always worried it's going to look like a mistake, but if I don't think it's a mistake, then it's not, right? I like it that way. to do um, a little I love the middles of these little I don't know what they're called the middles of the flowers we're just gonna call them the middles today since my mount now they seem to be missing like to do that is purple for any reason whoops Let me 
amazing that you can paint talk and read messages at the same time. It's not easy for me to do. <coughs> I don't know if I do it well, but I try. That could be my excuse why I can't remember anything because I'm paying attention to too many things at once. It's what life's all about, isn't it? No avoiding it. All right, do I, am I missing any spots? Do you see anything that needs attention? Um, I love this, these blues. I love these colors popping through here. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes it's good not to fuss with it too much. Like I, well, not sometimes, almost always. Because I could easily, like, keep on working on this but then it loses its spontaneity <clears throat> it's just a little bit of detail and that always adds a little sexiness if you just add a little bit of the a hint of the uh, negative space I think I'm good. I think that was fun. I'm going to sign it. <clears throat> I'm going to wipe up tool here. And then um, I will save this video and post it <clears throat> on my website. So there's the painting. There's my palette. And thanks for coming, guys. It was good to see you all. We'll do it again next week. I keep thinking I need to find a more convenient time to do this, but one of these days I will. Um, thanks for coming. See you. Have a great day.